bus to the place that's difficult for me to pronounce. What's it called? Uh, San Juan Teotihuacan. 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 Difficult. But yeah, we're going to see the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon, and we're on a bus that we were told didn't exist when we first got into Puebla to the Capu bus station, which is a pretty major, major station that we, we took a bus to from Acapulco. And so the station, we asked about our tickets just because we wanted to know the details. The station said CAP station, like CAP instead of Capu with you. So a woman there told us that there was no such ticket and that they only run on Sundays and that they wouldn't be running today. So we kind of did a lot of research and unnecessary thought into all these different uh, other ways that we didn't need to do, but we, we, um, we got this for uh, less than 400 pesos for the both of us. It's like 369 pesos. So, we're, uh, there, it's not too terribly crowded. The bus is, so the bus goes directly from Cholula. Puebla, not Puebla. Puebla. Oh, not Cholula. So we went to Puebla, then we took a, a 30 minute cab ride to Cholula to, Opposite see the, way. Oh, yeah. to see the pyramid. That's why we went there. We went just for one day. And the the pyramid and the temple that's built above it is pretty interesting. And then we we're going to the next pyramids, which are like uh -huh. if you go directly there, it, it's three now, and we should be there by five. So it's two hours. But if you go through Mexico City, it takes like two two and a half to get there. Yeah, and then like an hour and a half from there to get there. So. We were told at the bus station that there was no such route except for on Sundays and that this bus didn't exist. And turns out it actually does. How did we even come to find it? Well, we um we didn't really know what to do, so we decided to go back to the to the bus station and I asked someone else and uh he uh he was nicer and more honest and told the truth which was that there was another bus station in uh, Puebla. Uh, a 10 minute walk, and that's the right bus station we had to go to. So, oh, we the able... sound of the brakes. Oh, those brakes. Love them. Yeah, this is um, a really great deal. It's a great yeah. bargain. There are not any seat belts, so you cannot buckle up if you would like. You have no choice about it. This is a pretty, pretty nice bus. Great windows, curtains, view. <laughs> After the Pyramid de la Sol. Here's our Airbnb that we paid $16 a night for. There's this little mini fridge. This whole area was filled with teas and coffees. And here's the best part. Proximo año. Yeah, Proximo años. Come back with more small. Más dinero, Proximo año. This is the first and smallest pyramid of the three pyramids here. It's the Pyramid of, of the Feathered Serpent. Aztecs didn't build any of this. They stumbled upon it and dubbed it the place where the gods were born. So there is a mystery as to who built this. It's amazing. 
I love how all these little tiny stones are placed in the adhesive between the large stones and the, the carvings. And the little god heads everywhere make it seem so magical. Wow. Look at the view. You can see onto the other two pyramids, the sun and the moon. Okay. Uh, there's things that look like rubble, like there used to be walls potentially, like all over on the on the sides. What do you think that was? <laughs> like little buildings. But obviously, structures. This is more than just a temple. There's a lot of things going on here. Constant occupation. We're on our walk now to the next pyramid. Almost there. We stopped and bought some things. Got this ring. These two rings hold still. Oh, and I can show me your. Yeah. Who's the god? Tlaloc, god of the rain. Yeah. Awesome. And your rings are. There's a sun rep like represented by the four elements and four different colors of stones. Um, and then there's this calendar. And then mine is the pyramids with. It's upside down, but sun and moon. All right. Onward. Onward. There's a hole right here. I think it just goes under. I think this is just a channel for water going under. But there must be some way to get inside these. Yeah, you can see it. Here's an up close look at some of the walls that no longer have roofs or whatever, but they're blocked off and we can't walk through there. We found a trash can. Which, like, I would love to just make this place into Anarch Eden. Instead of this being a tourist site, I just want to live here and plant permaculture gardens all around. See the way the rocks are, little tiny ones, like such a beautiful design. Pyramid of the Sun coming up. It looks so huge from right here and with all those tiny people up on it. We're almost halfway up the Pyramid of the Sun, but it's such a nice view, and it's really hard to walk up these steps. There's it's a big workout. It's very steep. Pyramid of the Moon over there we're gonna go to next but it looks like they have it blocked off about halfway up so we probably won't get to go to the, the top. I was reading a sign down at the bottom that says that the pyramid is actually solid that there's nothing on the inside this is just a giant hill with rocks built up on the outside of it I don't know whether or not that's true but also apparently right up here on top 
is perhaps where people had their hearts cut out by the Aztecs so that the sun would continue to rise. So this place was built specifically for celebrating the sun. It sure seems that way. The Aztecs happened upon this. They didn't build any of this. They might have added a little bit to it, but the vast amount of the infrastructure was here long before they were. So it would be accurate to say that the Aztecs culturally appropriated this place? <laughs> I would say so. Now, who they culturally appropriated from, the Olmecs or someone else? Uh, is a mystery, but um, whoever built this, they were very intelligent. They were very calculated, very precise, and they had some pretty important reasons for doing this. Wouldn't be nice to time travel and see what this place was like. If it were even here that long ago, because who knows when it was actually built. <laughs> but it does seem very old. So it's not purely decorational, you say, but it, it apparently is solid, like there's nothing inside. This is just a solid giant hill with rocks on top of it. Do you think that's true? I just, I, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely possible, but why? Like, maybe, maybe that's that. It's just a big old hill with rocks on it, built solely for the purpose of celebrating the sun. And yeah, it's very intelligently placed and built. Yeah, later on, the Aztecs sacrificed people here. Cut out their still beating heart from their chest. But hey, you know. And that's supposedly with the belief that the sun wouldn't rise if they didn't. But the funny thing is, if they stumbled upon this place, the sun had been rising before they got here and started cutting people's hearts out. Well, it's the same thing with the roads. The roads were built before taxes existed, and yet you hear the same bullshit. But who will build the roads without taxes? Humans, have we really evolved that much from this? Without human sacrifice, how will the sun rise? Without finally extorting people, how will we build roads? They just have a lot more in common with the, uh, the ancient violent Aztecs than they might admit. <laughs> we just had an outburst of wind that knocked everyone's hats off and turned their umbrellas inside out. predator statues along with all of the other native stuff. wonder what that's up about. Is it hinting to some sort of alien connection to this place? Here's a mural that is of a puma. Tell us about this very special stone. This is the female companion to the god Flalok of storms and lightning which I'm wearing. Her name is pronounced Chale Chukwikwe. Chalchi we clique. Chalchi we clique. Gracias. There are many more of these tall platform structures as we get closer to the pyramid of the moon. This is as high up as we can go on the Pyramid of the Moon. And 
The construction of this pyramid to me seems a lot less worn out, maybe newer, nicer. Are we guys take that? Are we? Well, this concludes our journey to the pyramids of the sun and moon. And feathered serpent. And feathered serpent. The ruins of once was what once was a city, a ceremonial place. Who knows? Alrighty, blessed be, stay wild and free.